There is the old adage, what is done in the dark will come to light. It's senseless, you know what I'm saying, you know, cowards, cowardly. What did come to the attention of police was a middle of the night, middle of the road shootout that left windows and the sense of security shattered for those here along Wales Avenue, just off Jackson. Exactly, and it's ridiculous. For their protection, we are not showing the faces of those we spoke with regarding Sunday scare. But what we can show you is the extensive and endless damage. I'm like praying continuously, daily. Following a barrage of bullets, Police say there was a gunfight between several men who were using several guns. In fact, investigators recovered 173 shell casings fired from five different weapons. You gotta have some kind of regard for, for life, for human life. Fortunately, the lives of everyone inside the home's hit were spared. However, the damage has been done. This front door was pierced by 20 bullets alone. The window next to it also hit. There was very little untouched. One neighbor, in fact, showed us just how his favorite breakfast food was also caught in the chaos. It just happened to me last year on Thanksgiving. My house was shot up. And I also done lost a son to gun violence. This is personal. So too is what she oftentimes will do the moment after saying her nightly prayers. It had got to the point that I had to sleep on the floor with my family because we were so scared of this may happen again. We showed you even someone's box of cereal was hit, TVs destroyed, glass doors and windows shattered. So you can understand why many say they do not feel safe in their own safe haven, which is why some are moving out as violence is moving in. So put the gun down. Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. And if you know anything that could help police.